Hello YouTubers, my next project is these Kef Concerto speakers. Um, these came to me ages ago and I've been listening to them and um, they sound okay. Um, functionally each individual speaker works as it should, there's no problems there. But if you look at the date on that label, that's 74, that means these speakers are 40 years old and the capacitors uh, are electrolytic capacitors, EL caps, and uh, way past their best. That's one of the crossovers and if you look closely you'll see it has L caps. Um, they are well known to wear out and degrade easily. Often times if you um, open some speakers and see these black and red caps your heart sinks because you know they're going to be worn out and tired. I'm replacing those with this little lot. I bought them from Falcon Acoustics. This is a reputable company in Oxfordshire and this is a more or less a drop-in kit of capacitors. These are AL caps, aluminium caps, and um, are a drop-in kit for these crossovers. So my job is to put that lot onto that. It's a little bit later and I finished one of the crossovers. That's the one that I finished, obviously. Everything soldered into place. Um, that's a mix of the old capacitors and the new ones for the other crossover, which happens to be there. So yes, one down, one to go. Before I do the second crossover, um, the speakers lend themselves to testing the difference between those crossovers. The crossovers aren't mounted internally, they slot into here. So I can put one crossover in there, have a listen and slot the other crossover in and see if there are differences. For example, It's as easy as that. Like I say, I have done some listening and um, there is a difference. Um, it's not huge, but it's noticeable um, here in this room. I'm not too sure it's going to come over on YouTube. Um, I'm going to give it a go and um, when I encode this, I'll encode it at the highest possible rates I can. Um, so we'll do 10 seconds or so of a track first on this, the old crossover. I'll turn the amplifier off and um, swap those crossovers over. couple of things to note. Um, here in this room the differences between that and that um, uh, aren't huge but they are noticeable and um, particularly from the mid-range upwards um, everything's a bit clearer and less muddy. Um, I've burnt these in um, overnight. I'm not a massive believer of capacitor burning but for those of you out there who are just so you know um, 
this has been running um, for the best part of 18 hours or so. So that shouldn't be an issue for those who think that might be. It was worthwhile doing that little test with these speakers because um, instead of using two speakers, um, I'm using one. So therefore all the drivers are the same. There's no differences arising from those. It's purely the difference in the crossovers. If there's a difference, it's down to the crossovers and nothing else. Anyway, now I've um, done that and found a audible difference, I'm going to do crossover number two. And that's the second crossover done. Um, I've already tested it and it works. So goodbye to those horrible things. Hello to those. Something I, sh I should point out. Um, the competitor swap over, um, I've done it just to emulate the speakers as they were when they came off the production line. I've not changed any of the coils or done any quote unquote upgrades. I've just tried to restore it. Um, with that in mind, the speakers will be given a clean and um, they'll probably re oil the cabinets, take off the old stuff first. I'm not going to sand it down with a sander, that's um, too invasive. The cabinets are in very good condition, they just haven't been oiled or waxed or treated. Um, it's just original stuff. But there's no knocks in the cabinets, there's no scratches or marks, just a few scuffs and an old finish which needs to come off and be reapplied. And I'll look at those base units and see if they can be turned over 180 degrees. The base speaker is a lovely, weighty, cast framed affair. Very nice. Um, I will turn it 180 degrees and I'll make a note of it and put it on the back of the speaker. So that's next. You can't tell but the base drivers and both speakers have been rotated 180 degrees. Now I'm going to have to clean out the um, recess here in both speakers, clean the crossovers and refit them. It's a couple of days later and um, I finished, completely finished them. There's a slight, I don't know, discoloration at the front and the tops of both speakers, but nothing major. Um, the cabinets are in surprisingly good condition. Uh, there's hardly any um, knocks. I think there's one very small one somewhere. Um, there's nothing significant, um, a few scuffs, but um, with the new finish on them, they look very good. The fronts I'm very pleased with, I cleaned everything up, they look much better than before. And something I want to show you is that, that idea I had um, I mentioned it in a previous video about documenting any work I've done to speakers or, or anything really. Um, I'm going to start doing that with these speakers. I've done it to my Klipsch speakers but I'm keeping those. These will be the first ones um, released into the wild as it were with something on it saying what's been done to them. It's not an invoice or warranty, it's just something so that when people buy these in the future um, they know um, what's happened to them, what's been done to them. Um, oftentimes when people buy uh, hi-fi they don't know the history. Um, in this way they have an idea of um, at least what I've done to them. Anyway, let's turn that around. One last glamour shot, and off they go.